Welcome to video 47 in series 3 and in this video I'm going to write the player health script. Okay, so I'm going to make a new folder. So I'll create a new folder here. I'll call it player scripts. And inside I'll make a new C sharp script and I'll call that player underscore health. and open it up. Okay, I'll start typing in some variables. So pri first of all, a private game manager master. So I'm actually going to access that. So game manager master with respect to the game over a method. And then private, um, this one will be the player master. Player master, so then I'll just call this player master. Then I'll make another one here, a public method, a public variable, public int player help. I can see it then. And also I need a UI, so I'll have to say here using Unity Engine dot UI. Okay. And this is going to be a text. So public text health text. And this is what the player will see. On their HUD, they'll see their text value. We'll do that in the next video. Okay, so onto the methods. I won't need the update method. I will need the others. And I have to make a couple more as well. So the first one I'll make is actually a coroutine. So I enumerator, I enumerator. Oops, not spelling correctly. There we go. And uh, I'm just going to say test health deduction. It's going to be used for testing purposes, not actually part of the system, just for testing. Okay, and I'll just quickly write in there, yield, return, new, wait, four seconds, and maybe I'll put like four seconds just like that for testing, and I'm going to add a bit more code as well, but I need to write those methods. So void deduct health I'll just put here int health change. Another one, avoid increase health. And again, int health change. And then avoid set UI. Okay, so coming back here, and now I'll write here deduct health 100. This is to test game over. So when I attach this on, I will, I need to call it. So I'm going to just call it in the start method. So I'll say start coroutine. That coroutine is test health deduction. All right. And I'll comment it out because I actually don't want it to be called until I'm testing. Uh, all right. So I need to now start filling out other stuff like set initial references. So game manager master is going to be game object dot find oops dot find and that'll be game manager. Well let me just check in Unity what have I called it? Yes, game manager, alright. Uh, dot get component game manager master. Alright, so that'll give me a reference to that. Then player master. Ah, I can't spell player master. It is get component player master. There it is. Okay. Now that I've sorted out my initial references. Uh, I should call it in on enable. Don't do it in start because start is after on enable. And I'm going to do some other activities where this stuff has to have been set up beforehand. Otherwise you'll get errors. So set initial references here and on enable. I am going to do something that, uh, I'll set the value of the UI, uh, when they pretty much the game starts as well. So I'll say set UI. I'll call that here as well. And I also need to subscribe. So I'll put here player master dot event health. Oops. Player master dot event 
player health deduction plus equal a deduct health. And I'll just copy that. And this one is event player health increase. And I'll make this increase health. Now you'll find something very interesting uh, with the way events work. You'll see that when you want to subscribe a method, it must be of the same type with the same signature as well. So if like this event player health increase and player health deduction, they have a parameter of the type int. And you can see that here that this method increase health is uh, having a, uh, I guess, a parameter with an int in it. So that's why we can actually subscribe. You cannot subscribe an invalid method. So you can't make a method that has no int. It's just an empty one, like for example, uh, set UI. You can't subscribe that to these events uh, that have a parameter on them. Okay, so that's uh, increase health. All right. Then in on disable, I have to unsubscribe. So quite simply, minus equal. All right, so now let's go to these uh, other methods here, like deduct health. Uh, so when it's called, what I want to happen, I want the health to change, right? So I called it player health. So let me just change that. Player health minus equal health change. So that's just simply subtracting. Uh, now I need to do a check. I need to check if the player health, so if player health is less than or equal to zero, that means they're dead, then first of all, set player health to zero. So I won't see a negative number uh, when I set the UI, which I'll do right outside here, set UI. Uh, but I'm not finished there. So if, if it's zero, that means it's game over, right? So I need to set that. So this is where I bring in game manager master. This is why I had it there. Call event game over. Okay. And that'll take care of that. And it'll just all work nicely. Uh, next, uh, what about increasing the player health? So all I need to do is player health plus equal health change. Easy. Uh, and I should also check if the player health goes greater than 100. So. Well, what you should really probably do is have another variable called max health and check against that. So I'm going to say if player health is greater than, I'm just doing it the, the lazy way. If player health is greater than 100, because I know in my game, uh, 100 is the maximum health for the player, but really if you're doing more complicated stuff, like, you know, you would have like a, you wanted a temporary max health or something where you could get boosted and stuff then you would use a variable to do this kind of a check. Anyway, so if player health is greater than 100, then player health is equal to the max health, which is 100 in this case. Next, set the UI. Okay, so in the set UI method, first of all, I should check if health text not equal to null. So something is actually assigned and then in that case, health text uh, dot text uh, is equal to player health dot to string. Okay. And uh, I think I've got everything. That looks like the player health script completed. And uh, I think it's ready for testing. So I'll go and uncomment that. Go to Unity. Go to the player. And why don't I just rename that player? There we go, player. And then drop in the player health script. I uh, give the player some sort of a starting health, well, 100. Uh, of course, I don't have the UI set up yet. That's the next video. Uh, just save that, hit play, see what happens. I just wait for four seconds once I'm in. Mm -hmm. All right, so that worked perfect. There you go. See, the game is over just as the test was working. And I can see that the player health has dropped to zero. Uh, so that's fantastic. So let me try that again. Just check the player. One moment. Click there. Yeah, I can see that they've got a hundred. Okay. All right. So that's working nicely. Uh, before I go, 
I think I should just uh, comment that back out. There we go. That was just for testing purposes. Anyway, so that's the player health uh, working now. We've got one little piece of the system done. Thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video.